Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. What's happening guys, how's everybody doing today? Well, it's been about five or six days since I last spoke to you guys. Today is Saturday, whatever day it is. <laughs> it's not the 4th of July yet. Coming to you from my location where I'll be selling fireworks. So behind me is the tent, I just arrived. Uh, we don't have any power set up here. We're gonna be getting power, maybe water, not sure on that. Going to flip the uh, flip the camera around and show you guys. So this is my location in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. That's my tent. Got these portable tables set up. So we will be pulling in power from from some um, location. There is a power pole over here, so I'm speculating that we may be tapping into that service box over there. Uh, so this is the, the tent. They have these long nails securing it into the ground. There definitely is a wind, uh, a windy breeze happening right now. I've got a garbage receptacle here, a garbage receptacle there, and also a brand spanking new porta potty, which is nice, right there. So this is it here. Um, this property is sharing a another business which is uh, USA portable buildings which I'm going to kind of show you a few of these structures which are really cool for the uh, tiny living off the grid community crowd um, definitely uh, they do have a you know, some pricing so when I'm kind of finished I'll show you guys uh, a few of the uh, structures that they have here for sale turn turn the key and go not quite sure where I'm going to be planting the uh, the fifth wheel at. Probably close to the tent because um, there's going to be power in the tent. So I might just back it in right here, kind of maybe at an angle. You know, back it in right here at an angle, possibly. Just going to depend. Uh, the gentleman who's going to be helping me set up is on his way here and a couple of the other folks. So we'll uh, be getting this set up and putting some loading the product into the tent, pricing the product, loading the cash register machines and getting set up. But this is where it's all going to go down, guys. So if you're in the area and you'd like to uh, splurge and get some some for fireworks for the 4th of July. Come on down. You know where I'm at here in Shepherdsville. Right next to Craig Landreth Cars. Over there. So what's up guys? The last week I have uh, been staying at Bill and Darla's fireworks store the economic refugees youtube channel if you haven't already checking them out go and check them out subscribe and then also check out my other friends selling fireworks in effingham illinois scott and christy with the rv bandwagon youtube channel you're also going to want to go check their channel out too they're going to be selling and they're also uploading youtube content here videos uh showing showing the uh the fireworks uh the fireworks work camping um uh, process here and what it's all what it's all about what's what's uh, what's all going down so yeah this is the location um, just a quick blip those of you you know that really that uh, the last um, what's well, been five or six days since I posted a video um, really just been hanging out here like I said at uh, Bill and Darla's shop and uh, I was plugged in, had water and power, so I've just been uh, doing actually a lot of shopping and kind of getting caught up on some things, uh, restocking, resupplying the RV. Um, I ordered a, um, I've been, oh, I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon, and um, here in Shepherdsville, they actually have an Amazon distribution facility, like a couple of miles from where I'm at, and there are lockers on site where you can have stuff shipped right to the locker, okay? and this is a 24-hour facility so the lockers are really cool because when the product uh, you order from amazon it just shows up in your locker they give you a grace period of how long um, um to you know pick up the pick up the product so if it if it gets shipped to the locker that day you don't have to go there that day and pick it up they give you a couple of days 
to pick it up. And then I guess my understanding is if you don't pick it up for whatever reason, they take the product back and they refund your order. So, you know, pretty, pretty streamlined process. You really can't, you know, you can't go wrong with it. But um, then again, with uh, what I'm doing here, I'm gonna be tied up most of the day. So um, it's gonna work out great because I can go and pick them up at my convenience and, and um, um, when it's, uh, when it's the, the best appropriate time for me to go and do that. So that's just kind of another cool thing when you're work camping and you wanna order stuff and um, always remember the Amazon lockers. So that can really be a, a lifesaver in getting products shipped to you. Um, so yeah, other than just resupplying, uh, making many Walmart, uh, some Walmart runs. Um, so, you know, we're in an area right now where, um, uh, there's, um, just about kind of, you know, everything here. So between Walmart and an Amazon distribution facility, I'm covered. <laughs> so, and I've been buying a few things for the RV, some cooking appliances, which I hope to make a video later and show you guys a couple of those things that I bought. So, okay, so that's kind of the update there. Let's check out some of these cabins. Looks like we've got a rent to own USA portable buildings. Price includes delivery and setup. Bullet County. We are not going anywhere, I like that. So we'll take a step inside. Um, I like the door frame construction. Uh, pretty nice Seems like pretty well-made structures. I know I know if it's the Amish that's building them um, One of the cool features that I like, you know, the doors feel you know, they feel everything feels really solid You know when you that's generally the first your first impression when you go up and you look at these kind of things You know, it's kind of how is your first impression? Does it feel solid? I like this channel that they put on the bottom here. This uh, this edge is diamond plating. That definitely gives it uh, some durability. You know, this is definitely a point with sheds that just uh, is always getting, you know, weather, just always getting destroyed and hammered, but that's a great thing that they do. Uh, this is all metal construction on this one. There, there are no gutters on here, but that's something that could be easily attached. Uh, so here we have a price. This is a 12 by 20. Ooh, it's even got some mezzanine storage above there and also some mezzanine storage above over here. So for a 12 by 20, cash price $72.99, rent to own $337.92. So giving you a couple of options uh, there. Uh, okay, so uh, this flooring kind of looks like some kind of a water resistant flooring that they're using, two by four stud construction on the walls. Um, definitely some good, you know, good hardware and solid, pretty solid doors. So that yeah, looks pretty good. I'm sure, you know, you could build one yourself for a lot less dinero, but if you have the money and you don't have the time, well, then this definitely would suit your needs. Looks like we've got a little chicks dig coops, uh, coop net, coop nest over here. Got the little thing here to... Check out the check out the, for the cheeks to go into. Again, nice solid door construction. We're using that edge there. Uh, very well, 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 well made. Pretty impressive. Here you go. There's one here. A little. It's a six by eight, twenty-five. Twenty-five ninety-nine. Um. So, yeah, oh, that little wasp nest up there. And I always watch that going in these things. Oh, I got these carport garages. Um, portable garages, so I'm assuming they, there's a portable garage, they just come out and deliver it to you. So, 12 by 24. $62.99. Of course, you could insulate this and kind of meet it to your needs, but turn the key and go. Um, you know, I suppose it's not, not too bad. Um, not, not too bad of a price. Kind of just 
just take you guys for a quick little tour and show you other the other buildings that they have. And uh, there is a salesperson here. It looks like they have a so yeah. So cool, guys. Yeah, that gives gives you a little bit of an update. I do plan to keep the updates going here as time progresses and just kind of show you just show you what uh what i'm doing here and you know what this firework uh uh selling work camping opportunity is all about and what um you know what's what's involved how's it going so uh it'd be cool to do some dailies um some dailies but i know as as the times go times as time gets closer to fourth of july I'm, you know i'm gonna be super busy but uh so Anyways, guys, here's here's a quick update. Hope you guys are all doing great out there. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.